not only does our chiropractic method alone tend to help people think better, have better sleep, better energy, adapt to stress better, and have better posture and mobility, it also helps to prevent bad things from happening. I don't know of anything else out there that without taking something out of a person or putting something into them, can have that fourfold impact on a person's health. And so not only is chiropractic standalone awesome, but it's also awesome because it makes everything else that we do better. If you're stressed out and you do meditation and you do uh, you know, quiet time and you do meditation and other peace building kind of strategies, if your spine is on your nerves, guess what? Other people and other things are still gonna be on your nerves. You wanna breathe deeply from your belly, but it's difficult to do that if you have a spinal problem which causes you to have to deal with you're breathing through your chest and your neck more because maybe you're in such acute pain that you can't even relax enough to breathe with your belly. Or what about drinking plenty of water? That's great, but if you don't have good flexibility in your spine, thanks to good alignment, then you're not gonna be able to absorb the water into the discs of your spine anyways, and therefore you can still have premature arthritis if your spine's not well adjusted. Step number four of the seven keys. You wanna be more alive than dead, then eat foods that are more alive than dead. But understand that you are not what you eat, you are what your body can use. And considering the vagus nerves that exit up here go down and regulate the, the, the acid levels in your stomach, determining ultimately how well you absorb the food that you get, and that nerve travels down to every major organ of your body up to the first part of your large intestine, the implications are huge. You aren't what you eat, you are what your body can use. Dynamic movement and rest. It's difficult to have enough energy to exercise during the day if you're not sleeping deeply, and it's difficult to get into deep sleep, delta wave sleep, if your body, if your hypothalamus is not secreting growth hormone in the middle of the night, which you need to offset the effects of gravity and being upright and vertical. That's why we gotta get horizontal for several hours at a time, and it's this growth hormone that ushers in deep sleep, which is benefited directly and absolutely through our adjustments that are, that are given here. And last but not least, you want to work out. Great, well, a car that drives around the block a bunch of times is not going to fix its own alignment unless the alignment is corrected by that mechanic first. So let's make sure that your spine is balanced so that you can get the most out of your workouts.